So this is how to draw inequality graphs on your CG50. So we go to the graph menu, so that's menu 5, and say I want to do y is greater than x squared minus 5. Well, I could type in x. It's always got to be the x just below the alpha squared and then minus 5. OK, but at the minute, that's a y equals graph. So I'm going to go up to there and I'm going to choose graph type. So that's F3. And I'm going to press F5 to convert it so that I now have y is greater than. So I press F2 to make it a greater than. OK, I'm now going to do y is less than or equal to 2x plus 1. So I'll do 2x plus 1, execute, and then press F3 for type and convert. And I want less than or equal to. So there we go. Oh, that was that one, wasn't it? There we go. Execute. And I've drawn it. Let's just exit there. I'm going to go down. And now I want to do an x is greater than 0. So I'm going to start by pressing type this time. I'm going to press F6 until I can see x is greater than. So there it is. So I'm going to do x is greater than 0. Execute. OK, so I now have three inequality graphs on there. Um, and I'm going to draw those graphs. Right, and you can see that it's shaded the exact inequality that is true for all of those. Now, that's because my setup is for intersections. So if yours looks different, you press Shift and Setup. And you can see the third thing down is inequality type. And you want the intersection one. I'll just show you what happens with union. So union, it overlaps. And then it's really hard to see. So we go Shift and Menu for Setup. You go down until inequality type and change it to intersection. OK, and that's the bit you want to see.